I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I'll let you know what I find. Nothing to put. 
Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. 